So Starhawk drops on May 8th here in North America, and you gotta go pre-order it. There is a bunch of free stuff in the limited edition at GameStop. It's like $20 worth of stuff that you can get for free if you pre-order. So this is my go pre-order the game. You get the Maw of Despair. It's a co-op map, which is a blast. Players didn't get to play co-op in the beta, but co-op is awesome. You guys are gonna love it. The Maw of Despair is this big, massive pit, one of the oldest uh, you know, Rift Energy geysers on the planet of dust. And it's specifically a ground co-op map. So it's not a lot of hot combat, but it's just this massive grinder. And there's, you know, like you're in this big pit and there's like these cave openings with all these outcast structures and totems and enemies are rushing in. And it's a blast. That's a really awesome prospector map. You'll also get two character customizations, a rifter and outcast guy, they're super cool. Huxley has it's got this awesome hair and this scar, and he's got this crazy big cyborg arm and this really cool upper body piece, and all of those pieces are interchangeable with all the other customization parts in the game. And then you've got the Shade Warrior, who's like all beat up, and you can see like his guts are ripped out and the rib cage and like rift energy's pulsing, and all of those parts are interchangeable with all the other outcast parts. Those are great customizations. Gives you bragging rights on that. What else do you get? Oh, and you also get a custom homeworld. So you get this multiplayer homeworld, which again, players didn't get to see in the beta. Homeworlds are like lobbies, because Starhawk is so much about team play when you're online. A homeworld allows you to basically go to like your place, your special location out in the new frontier. And so in this case, it's the scrapyard on Echo. It's this massive terrain mesh with these roads and circuits that are great for racing on. You know, driving your Razorbacks or jet bikes. And then of course you've got your like little, you know, garage and junkyard kind of area. And you can invite your friends to it and you can party up and you can talk over VoIP. Then you can join games and go around and roll people on the internet. So that homeworld is specific to the limited edition. So that's even more. I mean, I think we should probably pack in Sham Wows or something. We should probably put that in. Can we put in Sham Wows in the limited edition? Maybe? Done? Okay, there. You, you're probably not going to get Sham Wiles. At any rate, um, of course you get the soundtrack by our amazing composer, Christopher Leonard. He's the same guy that did our music in Warhawk. That music was great. The music in Starhawk is amazing. The stuff that they've done is we're just blown away by. You get the soundtrack for free if you get the limited edition. You also get a theme, a custom theme that's packed into the limited edition that's got a bunch of artwork that cycles in the background. It's really cool illustrations that we've done here at Lightbox. So the theme's included as well. And I think Sony actually threw in the original version of Warhawk um, from the old PS1 day. So that'll be a blast from the past. And in addition to all of that stuff that Sony let us put into the limited edition pack, you also get one month free of PlayStation Plus and $10 off a Bluetooth headset. And as everyone knows, Starhawk is really big on team play, so you need to get a headset. So you may as well get the pre-order because that's like $10 off a Bluetooth headset. Starhawk's dropping on May 8th. You still got time to pre-order at GameStop and get all 20 bucks worth of limited edition content for free. Do it right now. Stop watching the video. Close down your browser. Go pre-order the game right now. Get all of that content. You have no excuses. Go do it.